Welcome to the CoolEd tutorial video for Micromanager. In today's tutorial video, we will show you how to set up the PE300 Ultra, White and PE340 Fura in Micromanager. First of all, you need to ensure that you have the CoolEd drivers downloaded from the CoolEd website. This can be found under Support, Imaging Software, and then downloaded here. Ensure that they're saved somewhere memorable, such as your desktop. You will then need to ensure that you have the latest Micromanager software downloaded. This can be found on the Downloads page of the Micromanager website. Once you have both installed, you can then plug in your CoolEd light source. Once you have done this, head to Device Manager to ensure that the CoolEd light source has been correctly recognised. You can see here under Ports that the CoolEd light source has been correctly installed. If you have any problems, you can right click and update the driver and direct the CoolEd light source to the drivers saved to your memorable place. Once correctly installed, you can then open Micromanager. When opening Micromanager for the first time, the configuration file displayed will say None. Then select OK. To begin installing your light source, you'll then need to head over to Tools and Hardware Configuration Wizard. Select Create a new file and head to Step 2. Here you'll scroll down the list of available devices until you find the correct CoolEd light source. In this case, we'll be adding the PE300. Select the light source and click Add. You will then need to select the correct COM port under which the PE300 is connected. This can be found again in Device Manager. Here you will see port A is connected to COM5. Select COM5 and then click OK. You will then be able to add any other available devices that you have connected to your setup. In this case, we will be adding a demo camera as we do not have a camera connected. You can then head to step three. Keep clicking next until you reach step 6. Here you can save the configuration file. If you click Browse, and ensure that you're saving the file under Micromanager. You can then give the configuration file an appropriate name. For instance, PE300 and Demo Camera. Then click Finish. Now you have the light source added to the software, you must head to Configuration Settings. Here we will set up a group that will allow you to select which channel of the light source you wish to have illuminated. We will then set up three more groups in order to control the intensity of each channel. First of all, click the plus next to Group. As we are just adding the light source settings, you can hide cameras, stages, wheels and other devices. Give the group an appropriate name. In this case, I will call it Channels. As we will only be controlling the selected channel in this group, you will only need Selection A, Selection B and Selection C. Intensities will come later. Then click OK. Now we have the group created, we can select some presets. We'll start with channel 1. Here you'll need to select Selection A, 
as 1. This means the channel is selected. Ensure that selection B and selection C are 0. You can then select the group and add a preset for channel 2. and channel 3. We shall then add a group for channel 1 intensity. Again I will hide cameras, stages, wheels and other devices. You can then select intensity A and click OK. You will see here you are then pre presented with a slider that allows you to adjust the intensity of the channel 1 from anything from 0 to 100. You will see this change also reflected on the control pod. We then add another group for channel 2 intensity. and channel 3 intensity. You can then select the channel you wish to illuminate and the intensity required. If you then click live, you'll see your light source illuminate. To run an acquisition, you will need to head to Tools and Multidimensional Acquisition. Then click Channels and select the channel group of Channels. Then click New to add your first channel. This would be a single wavelength experiment. To do a multi-channel experiment, click New again. And this will add the second channel, and new again to add a third channel. These will illuminate at the intensity selected on the sliders. You can then adjust the exposure as required. Click time points to select how many frames you require. You can also Choose where your files are saved. Then click Acquire and your experiment will begin. Once you are happy with your configuration settings, be sure to save the configuration file. The next time you open Micromanager, you will then be able to load this configuration file and your settings will reappear. Thank you for watching this cooler tutorial video. For any further questions, do not hesitate to get in touch with us.